Hello and welcome back to Game Domain. Our Legend of Zelda games ranking is one of the most popular videos on our channel, as one of these days it's probably going to crack the 500,000 view mark. That video came back in the summer of 2018, so it's been nearly two years since we ranked the Zelda games. We figured rather than do a full ranking, because really not much would change in our order of things, we would just bring you guys our updated 2020 version of Game Domain's Top 10 Zelda games. This franchise means so much to us, and the countless number of fantastic titles we've gotten over the years really makes for one of gaming's most successful franchises. One more thing before we get into the list, just listen carefully to what we have to say, and make sure you stay through the end to get the full gist of our opinions. But let's not go on a rant for too long, now let's see what game finds itself at the number 10 spot. Number 10, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Yeah, that's right. The game that sat atop our Ranking the Zelda Games video finds itself in the number 10 spot here on our updated version. Let's be real here, Ocarina of Time is criminally overrated. This boring and outdated title really doesn't quench our gaming thirst like it used to. Ocarina of Time has been praised so many times that we just got sick of it, and are tired of hearing so many people praise this boring installment into the series. One of its main highlights, according to most, is how it revolutionized gaming by implementing some incredible 3D graphics and gameplay. But let's be real, Super Mario 64 was the game that did that. Ocarina of Time just took the credit for mastering it, even though we all know it didn't. And we all know that most of you guys watching didn't actually play Ocarina of Time back on the N64, so you don't know that it actually wasn't that great. Most of you played the 3D version on the 3DS, which was much better than the finicky and outright ridiculous controls on the N64, or GameCube version. Ocarina of Time was really not this wonderfully life-changing experience that everybody says it is. It's just an outdated game that's outright difficult to get through when you try to play it now due to its outdated and difficult controls and gameplay mechanics. So yeah, we've finally come around to the Ocarina of Time haters bandwagon. Number 9, The Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. The handheld line of Zelda games are always overlooked, and Spirit Tracks follows this narrative. Most fans ignore the greatness of this DS classic, which follows the graphical and gameplay mechanics of the Wind Waker and Phantom Hourglass as well as the same storyline. Spirit Tracks has you parading around the overworld on a train dubbed the Spirit Train. People don't give the wonderful exploration aspect of this handheld title enough credit, and it is a true shame that so many people hold Ocarina of Time to such high esteem over this far superior title. People look at a game like Ocarina of Time and praise it for its incredible world building that gives an open world experience, but Ocarina of Time lacks true exploration, the spirit train. Traveling on the spirit train beats any exploration aspect of Ocarina of Time, as who the hell would want to ride around on a horse with a weird name when you could journey on a train? Spirit Tracks needs more attention, and it is more than worthy of being on our number 9 spot on our updated Top 10 Zelda games. Number 8, The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword is a title that some fans love and some fans hate. For us, we're in the middle of this boat, as we really neither love it nor hate it, but rather like it. Skyward Sword gave us really the maximum capability of the Wii, showing us the wonders of the Wii's motion sensitivity and how it can immerse one in a true game experience in which one can wield a sword. This title takes place at the beginning of the Legend of Zelda timeline, as Link sets out on a quest to the surface to save Zelda from the wrath of Girahim. This addition is a nice change of pace plot-wise, with all new gameplay mechanics and an altered plot taking us up into the sky for a unique adventure. This game's plot and story is truly the cornerstone for the rest of the franchise, as it sets all of the different timelines and plots of the other titles into motion. Skyward Sword is yet another story of Link's quest to save Zelda from certain danger, and he does his work valiantly yet again in this title. This game reminds us of true innovation and greatness, rather than what we got in 2017's Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild is not on this list due to its way too animated and outdated graphic style, and bland and lackluster plot that really hindered the adventure of Link and Champions. I mean, come on everybody, but Link is just horrible at fighting and dies to Ganon? Yeah, pretty stupid and boring if you ask me. But I digress, as it is time to move on to our next entry. Number 7, The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker was the first true change of scenery in the world of Hyrule. Time and time again we got the same plot of Link needing to help Zelda and save Hyrule from being destroyed by Ganon. Majora's Mask gave us the first real change from this bland and unoriginal plot, as it brought us into a completely different reality to Hyrule known as Termina, with an all new villain, Skull Kid. This title also doesn't find itself on the list because like Ocarina of Time, who really wants to play that outdated and disastrous mess? Wind Waker gave us an all new take on Hyrule, bringing us a unique adventure in which you take to the seas to explore Hyrule and save the world yet again from Ganon's terror. This title gives us arguably one of the series' greatest features, the sailing mechanics. 
Being able to explore this vast sea filled with different islands is what makes this game so fantastic, and it will always have a massive spot in our hearts. This game gave us an all new plot, graphical style, and was the birth of an incredible line of three of our favorite Zelda games, being followed by Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks as direct sequels on the Nintendo DS just a few years later. Wind Waker is awesome, and nothing can take the greatness of this game's innovation away from us, which is why we have it on the number 7 spot on our new Top 10 Zelda games. Number 6. The Legend of Zelda On our ranking the Zelda games, we had the original Legend of Zelda title a little lower than we probably should have. After playing through this title again, we realized how truly innovative and incredible the original Legend of Zelda title is in comparison to the following titles in the series. The original gameplay mechanics, optimized for the NES, still hold up all the way till today. This original title introduced us to the incredible land of Hyrule and paved the way for the series' greatest games to follow years later. This classic is over three decades old, and the fact that we can still appreciate its greatness is truly something amazing. Nothing can stop us from loving this 2D masterpiece, and it certainly deserves the number 6 spot on our top 10 Zelda games. Number 5. The Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Seasons, and Oracle of Ages Handheld titles are always overlooked when it comes to the Legend of Zelda franchise. When you have a series that consists of such incredible home console masterpieces as The Wind Waker, the original Legend of Zelda, and Skyward Sword, it's no shocker that the handheld titles get overlooked time and time again. Oracle of Seasons and Oracle of Ages are the only dual releases in the franchise's history, and it would be no surprise to us if the reason that they did this was because the success they got with Pokemon Red and Pokemon Blue as releasing two titles encouraged players to buy both versions to explore all the differences the titles have to offer. These dual titles gave us an awesome new look at the handheld Zelda experience, with the graphics and gameplay mechanics far improved from its handheld predecessor, Link goes on a journey to collect the eight essences of nature and the eight essences of time, which are hidden in various dungeons throughout the land. Most casual fans haven't even played these games, and it is a true shame that they haven't gotten their hands on our number 5 Zelda game. Number 4. Zelda 2 The Adventures of Link One of the most universally disliked games in the series, Zelda 2 gets a lot of bad rap for no real reason. Zelda 2 is yet another example of a Nintendo sequel that turned out better than the original, bringing about a new and unique turn on the original title that made it seem more like a Super Mario game. And hey, who doesn't love Super Mario S side-scrollers? Being the only true side-scrolling platformer in the series, Zelda 2 takes everything we loved about the world of The Legend of Zelda and turns it into a Mario-style game that we can all enjoy. Super Mario is one of the greatest franchises on Earth, and it was no mistake that Nintendo combined the likes of these two classic series. Zelda 2 is highly scrutinized in the gaming community due to its not really feeling like a Zelda game, because it really is like no other. But the uniqueness and awesome innovation that this title brings to the table is really what makes it so great, and makes it more than deserving of capturing the number 4 spot on our top 10 Zelda games. Number 3. Phantom Hourglass The greatest out of the trilogy of Wind Waker S titles. Phantom Hourglass defines this whole series' greatness. Nintendo was looking to cash in big with a great new title on the DS that would bring more Zelda fans to the handheld side of things, and this game certainly accomplished that feat. Phantom Hourglass was a direct sequel to The Wind Waker, and continued off of one of our personal favorite journeys and timelines in the world of Zelda. Nintendo set out to mimic and continue the graphical and gameplay aspects of the GameCube's Wind Waker, which certainly brought us into the thick of this expansive new timeline. Phantom Hourglass brought about fantastic graphics and gameplay that adapted incredibly to the DS's engine, as it truly felt like a continuation of everybody's favorite GameCube C exploration game. This game utilizes the DS's two screen capabilities, one of course being a touch screen to bring us a very interactive and expansive title that has us taking to the seas yet again. After The Wind Waker, many wondered if Nintendo would ever go down a completely different route for a Zelda game, like they did with that last title. After the release of Twilight Princess, a pretty horrid and lackluster game to say the least, many of us Wind Waker lifers were disappointed to see that they might not ever get another title like the GameCube title we all grew to love. But shortly after the hype of Twilight Princess died down, we got a sequel and second installment to the Wind Waker timeline, which is the greatest of the timelines in our opinion. This timeline gave us the Wind Waker, Phantom Hourglass, and Spirit Tracks, all three of which found warm welcomes into our hearts. All three of these games are gaming masterpieces, and it's our honor to place Phantom Hourglass in the number three spot on this top 10. Number two, Link's Awakening 2019. When Nintendo announced that we would be getting an all new top-down Zelda game in 2019, everybody was pretty shocked. We already knew that something was in the works as a successor to Breath of the Wild, but it made no sense that Nintendo would want to return to their roots of the 80s and 90s and give us a game with an outdated style. But boy were we wrong. 
because what we got is perhaps one of the greatest remakes of all time. The original Link's Awakening doesn't even come close to this one, as the franchise's newest installment gave us the same world that we loved back in the day and completely revolutionized the look, gameplay mechanics, and feel of this awesome classic. The Link's Awakening remake has the best graphics in the entire series because it is the newest game, of course. Maybe Breath of the Wild 2 will top this game's graphics, but it's not likely to beat the incredible and fantastically amazing graphics of this remake. Breath of the Wild really looked like an anime, and this is not what we want in our Zelda games. Instead, we want pristine graphics and awesome top-down gameplay like this remake. Man, thank gosh we got this awesome title to get the underwhelming Breath of the Wild out of our system. Number 1. Four Swords Adventure Yes. The game that was mistakenly left out of our Ranking the Zelda Games video, which you guys made sure to let us know in the comments, is at the number one spot on our Top 10 Legend of Zelda Games. Now, most of you are probably flipping out and heading down into the comments to roast us and ridicule us for having this game as the number one spot, but why? If you guys were so upset that it was left out of our Ranking the Zelda Games video, then you must care about it and like the game, right? If not, you guys are all hypocrites. You asked us where this game was, and here it is. So if you don't like that we have it in the number one spot, then so be it, because obviously you don't really care about the title and just commented for attention. So yeah, Four Swords Adventure is our greatest Legend of Zelda game of all time. So thank you for watching today's- wait, okay, I think it's time. Did you guys seriously take this video seriously? If you thought this video was an actual top 10, we're sorry. This entire video was a complete joke, but it is probably too late for you guys because you already disliked, commented, and clicked away. If you made it to the end of this video, congrats. This video was a complete joke and partially a social experiment to see who actually watches the whole video. We gave you a hint in the beginning to listen carefully, meaning how outlandish what we are saying is and to watch all the way to the end so that you can see our grand reveal. So yeah, we tricked you guys. This list is a complete joke and has no actual meaning or leverage. Our real opinions on The Legend of Zelda games are in our Ranking the Zelda games video from a few years ago. Yes, we know the VO guy said Wind Walker instead of Wind Waker. Yes, we know we left out Four Swords Adventure, but people make mistakes, and if you commented before watching the whole video to realize it is a joke, you made one too! Thanks for watching today's video. If you like this satirical content, check out our Top 5 Worst Animal Crossing Villagers video, as well as our Top 5 Worst Breath of the Wild characters. Tell us what you thought of today's video in the comment section below. Don't forget to click subscribe and leave a like on today's video, as well as check out some of our other recent uploads. Make sure you also check out the links in the description, as there you will find the link to our Patreon and to join our Discord. Join our Discord to connect with our staff here at the channel, as well as participate in the great Domain Legion content we have going on there. Our Discord is open to all gaming fans, as we now have over 400 plus fans of the channel and gamers talking about what we love to do every single day. So come on and join to participate in this great community. We'd once again like to thank you guys for all of your incredible support, and thanks for watching today's video. We'll see you next time.